Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have another beginner's uh, lesson and today we're talking about an adverb. Muy bien. In fact, we're going to talk about two adverbs. We'll tell you all about it en la segunda parte. So if you like these lessons and you'd like to support Lightspeed Spanish, you can do that in a certain way, which is to, in a certain way, which is to go to our website and you can download on the website audiobooks. All of the books that we have on the market, we're starting to make into audiobooks. So we have five available. So if you like to listen and sort of learn Spanish on the go, that's a brilliant option for you. So, Cynthia. This person has asked a question. Um, first of all, okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you what his name is. I'm assuming it's in uh, D. Paul Four Piece Two. Okay. Okay, so Paul, yeah. Paul, we assume Paul, yeah. For Piece Two, nice name. Four Piece, piece Two, yeah. Um, he says, "Please do a talk on the varied uses of precisamente." Yeah. I hear it in many contexts. By the way, as a matter of fact in the English is not always precisely. Okay? Okay. So, what are your thoughts? We've had a chat beforehand about this. What are your thoughts on, on its use, uh, like, by the way, or, or as a matter of fact? I, I can't think of an example of precise, uh, precisamente meaning by the way. Mm. I can't think of it. No, we've been, we've been trying the, the, to find one, but we couldn't find one. It doesn't exist. Uh, I just can't think of it. So, I mean, if you think of one, you can leave it in the comments. Mm -hmm. But uh, the way we tend to use precisamente is when we mean exactly or precisely or just, just. as uh -huh. well. Um, it could work on its own. For example, you know, if you ask a question and then if you mean to say exactly or precisely that or whatever mm -hmm. we could say precisamente uh-huh uh-huh and oh, we could say for example um es precisamente lo que quería decir no Exacto. which would be it's just what i wanted uh -huh. to say o eso es precisamente lo que quería decir yeah Como precisely not precisely like exactly what i wanted or to just say just what yeah. i wanted to say yeah um, yeah, I mean, it precisely would work in that sentence as well but we could say just we could replace sí, it with just. just or exactly as well um, but I can't think of anything, for example, because you said, as a matter of fact, for mm -hmm. me, as a matter of fact, would be de hecho. De hecho. Uh -huh. um, yeah. But I could not swap it for precisamente. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, for us, really, the, the use of that word is really the precisely just type yes, of I, feeling. The way I However. This, if you do know of a, of a way, as Cynthia rightly says that in English, because English is so kind of varied and flexible, there might be a context where we would translate that as a matter of fact. Yes. But we couldn't of think of one and we searched and we couldn't find one either. Um, so I want to, right, so precisamente, yes, is used and I hear it, but I hear another one, another adverb, much more in that kind of feel, which is, Efectivamente. Right? Efectivamente. Efectivamente. This seems to be very much de moda, like fashionable. Um, people, when you say something and somebody wants to agree with you, then quite often you'll hear them say, Efectivamente. I think it's referring mostly to my auntie. No, I hear says it. that a lot. Your, your, auntie, your auntie loves it. She, she loves does, that yeah. expression. Uh -huh. But yeah, efectivamente um, is... is like exactly that yeah. exactly that effectively you know when you, uh, when somebody says something you go well effectively that's the that's uh -huh. the case yeah but it's very it is very i hear it quite often and it's used in this kind of like the the somebody says something and you want to say exactly you've, you've hit the nail on the head as we would say it's like effectivamente yeah it's así or, or in a sentence um for example um Dijeron que él llevaba un gorro marrón. Yo pensaba que no, pero efectivamente llevaba un gorro marrón. Yeah. How would yeah, you say yeah. that? 
Um, so uh, I thought he was wearing another colour, but in effect, effectively, I don't. It sounds really weird when I'm saying it. Is that even a word? Effectively, I, I mean, it sounds like English. <laughs> yeah, for sure, effectively. I don't even know if it's. A, I I re- think... I'm having a, a full way out of. <laughs> does that even exist? Effectively, uh, yeah. Effectively, that was the case. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Sounds all right now. I've said it a few times. I could be, <laughs> I could be inventing. What other word would you have said without effectively? Um, but that really was the case. That really was the case, which is what you're saying, yeah. But in truth, that and was surely, the case. Oh, surely, and surely that was the case. No, that, that might be an American style. I don't know, but in the UK we wouldn't okay. say that. And that and that but was. Where, that where was did I get the American style from? Because <laughs> uh, you've been with Americans over the. the the, the After course. the course, yeah. No, I've got like Americanism. Surely you can't be serious. <laughs> I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Yeah, um, but yeah. So you could say that that was, and that was certainly the case, or that was es. uh, the case. Yeah. Efectivamente. Mm. Precisamente, efectivamente. Oh, oh, for example, precisamente hoy eh, se cumplen 10 años del aniversario. Mm-hmm. You said precisely today. Or just today, or just today, or precisely on this day, or on, yeah, on this day, on exactly. this day, exactly, exactly. We would day, use exactly. maybe exactly in that one. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Is there are there any more adverbs that that seem to be like these one word throwaway adverbs that people use? For sure. Yeah. Um. Seguramente. Seguramente. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. And seguramente is a trigger for the subjunctive, isn't it? If you use it, seguramente and the subjunctive. Yeah, sí. or it can be. I have heard people use seguramente without uh, with the indicative as well. Um, yeah, well, I mean, sometimes we can play with it. With some some triggers are more flexible than others. I mean, some triggers definitely trigger subjunctive, but sometimes some triggers. You can play with it. Maybe right. grammatically, for an exam, they would trigger subjunctive. Yeah. But in everyday conversations, you can play with it more. Like if you want to make it more certain or more um, uncertain, you can use uh, indicative or subjunctive. Mm. Yeah. Like for example, using perhaps or um, things like this. Yeah. Quizá, um, quizá is the one that quizá, you, can, quizá you can play around tiene, with. Yeah. Quizá tenga. So it depends on how much. Um, how certain you are of something mm-hmm. that you can play around. So maybe in, and also it varies depending on what part of the Spanish-speaking world you are, because um, the triggers for subjunctive are not the same sometimes in Spain and in Latin America. Most of the in most of the cases they are the same, but sometimes yeah. they're different. You know. Um, yeah. But yeah, seguramente tends to be. Uh, trigger for subjunctive. Mm. I'm ¿Sí? thinking of a case that you used seguramente. With seguramente me. es algo. I mean, you can use it as well without, but I wouldn't recommend that people learn it without because most people do courses or take exams, and in the exam they're going to ask for subjunctive. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, why, just, why, I'm why thinking smiling? about a time. I remember a time that you used seguramente with me. Yeah. And you said something, which we won't go into, but she said, seguramente te blank. ¿Vale? And I. I seguramente was, te blank. Te blank. I'm not going to ah, say blank. That. Blank, blank, yeah. I was like, and I blank. was really upset. I was really upset. And I got really angry and big argument and everything. And afterwards, Cynthia said, but I said I used the subjunctive, so I wasn't really meaning it. Do you remember that? No. You have no you, idea. You have a weird and yet, recollection. Isn't it funny head. how I can remember that? I can remember where we were and how I felt. But, I said to you, yeah, seguramente, de, with subjunctive. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for example, uh, seguramente te de un masaje. I'll exactly. Give you, I'll for give example, you a massage. Yeah. But then exactly. it didn't happen. And, N- no, didn't it didn't happen. You and you went, well, I did use the subjunctive, yeah. Well, seguramente yeah. te dio un masaje, seguramente, but not 100%. I noticed, certain. exactly, I noticed that Cynthia, <laughs> Cynthia has changed to giving a massage. That was very light. That's a very light 
what you said to me was very heavy. Or at least it seemed at the time. It, it wasn't. So, I, and I, I bet you're all wondering, what did she say to me? I'm well, not going to tell I you. don't even know what I I'm said. I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to spend the whole day going, but what did I say? What did I say? I don't know. Uh, Seguramente te... I don't know. <laughs> I saw something that I was going to offer you. Seguramente te... There was something you were going to do to me. <laughs> something good or something, something bad? Something bad. Something bad. That you were going to do to me. <laughs> That's and a, then afterwards, I remember, like, that's, how, that's when I learned, seguramente, use it with a subjunctive, it doesn't always mean that's going to happen. Yeah, surely, no, no, possible. Oh, I know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? I know what you mean now. <laughs> oh my God, how horrible are you for this one? Well, I haven't mentioned what it was. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, but the it, good may news still happen. Is, it may still happen. The good news. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is that was in the long, the long term future. Yeah, so. the good news is that was right at the beginning, and it was all resolved. And now, <laughs> and now everything that Cynthia wondered that she was threatening me with, she got anyway. <laughs> because isn't that just the way? You know, there's a scripture in the Bible that says. A, a, a woman is like a dripping tap that can wear away stone. Oh my God. Not my words, not my words. How is this yeah. part of the lesson? It's not. <laughs> this? But seguramente, <laughs> if you say it with a subjunctive, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Yeah. But you can use it as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Mari, entonces, how, how would you say that in English? Like, if you say seguramente... Uh, I might. I know, it's like not, I probably, it's not I, might. I probably might. I pro <laughs> I, seguramente, it's like, it's like I, I probably, or this is likely to happen, but... The, again, there's a high chance that... But you don't have a word for seguramente. You can't say I surely no, will. No, because no, if you say I no. surely will, that's I'm seguramente. sure, yeah. No, it's like yeah. I, I probably will, or there's a high chance that... And it's funny, isn't it? Because seguramente comes from seguro, seguro, which is certain. Exactly. But when you say seguramente... It's not certain, it's yeah. probable, but not, you know, you're not 100% sure. Exactly. So it's like... Uh, I suppose it's, in, it's in, weird... in that sense of, you know, surely you can't be serious. That's like, you were using sure, but we were saying maybe you're not. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Okay. Mm. Pues muy bien. Eso es todo. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.